Hello YouTube, Reddit Math here, and welcome back to Jack and Alliance 2. Today's episode, and I have been stalling on recording this one, and you're going to see why as we get started, uh, but at a certain point, there's just no more putting it off. So, we've got Squad 2 lined up here to assault Alma, and this particular sector of Alma is kind of interesting. There's a little bit, maybe a secret that you might consider uh, as far as doing this sector, and I've been trying to get this right on like a divergent save path, but just was not able to do it in the way that I remember it being done from the last time I played. I'm not quite sure if maybe alterations to the AI in um, maybe some more recent 1.13 patches have changed exactly how the enemy reacts to this, but I'm gonna show you what needs to happen, even if I don't actually accomplish it myself. Uh, I'll, I'll try to explain what's going on here. Uh, I'm not going to call reinforcements it from Jason. We, have company in this area, we do have some militia that were right next door to us. Uh, we're not going to use those as we want to go in just tippy toey and quiet. Go ahead and go into the sector. Oh, and I can already tell I'm going to regret this. Uh, so it is raining. Hey, storms. Okay, and we came right in on turn-based mode, which is horrifying. Is there a reason that happened? Just drop backpacks, turn and look this way. No. Uh, so I'm bored. I'm kind of frightened that something sees us. Yeah. Why would we have come in on turn-based mode? Ready. Okay, let's just yeah. get everybody crouch down in case gunfire starts flying our way. Uh, we'll kind of just yes. face outwards for now and then pass the turn. Watch out for snipers. Yay! Okay. Uh, it would be unwise to let down our guard around here. Just yes. pass another turn. Yes. Pass another turn. Are we going to stay in turn-based mode forever? That's going to yes. make this really, really yeah. annoying. Okay. Well... Let's look bored. at moving everybody Ready. around. If I turned on some like horrible options, force turn mode. Why is force turn mode on? Let's get back in here. There we go. That was my yes. mistake. I yes. think in one of the uh, attempts that I had maybe made Ready. at clearing all this, uh, maybe I turned on forced turn mode. Yama. To just sort of uh, investigate you okay. that way. Alright, so what we're going to do uh, at the very beginning, I'm going to take Vicky and Raven off over in this direction. Now, as far as the like the, the secret or um, maybe a little hidden gem in this episode, is uh, there are some weapons right around in here uh, that are... Kind of a, a fantasy weapon, uh, the, the rocket rifles in the game. And rocket rifles are not like a real thing. They're basically a railgun type weapon. Uh, they're not even particularly great in the grand scheme of things, but uh, this is one of the opportunities to get them, although there are others. And in the past, the way I'd always wanted to accomplish this something. is by coming over to this fence line, Cutting a hole. Cool, run in. And uh, you'll see that may be the first time I've ever done that. The KCB knife in this game is able to also cut uh, through wire fences. Um, it doesn't really explain it here, but basically there's just like a little hook kind of uh, thing on a KCB knife so that you can Heard something. Uh, you can cut wire with it. Ready? Uh, okay. So we're gonna pull these guys in here. Now, what basically has to happen is, as you make entry into the building, uh, the enemies will blow those weapons. There are like some explosives right next to them. They'll sound an alarm, and the alarm will make those explode. So you have to be quick about it, although I do not remember it being as quick as is necessary anymore. Um, you have to do it in my experimentations in less than a turn basically like 
The turn you are spotted, you need to make it three rooms into the building uh, and secure that. And it just hasn't been possible. So I'm going to kind of try to show that off, but I'm also going to have like a plan A, basically. Yes. Uh, and that plan A is. Let's see. Let's see. Is stealthy. Yes. Sydney is a gunslinger. I don't really have any actual snipers, right? Doesn't look like it. Okay. So, let me bring Sydney something. over to, like, right about here. I'll have him face that way. I'm going to bring Coasty over to right about here. I'm expecting there are some guards uh, right at this front gate. And then everybody else is just kind of going to provide rear security in case, uh, you know, we are sitting in the uh, the almost sector with enemies to our south and to our east, so it's possible that they reinforce. Something. And if they do, I don't want them reinforcing like right next to us. We're at the very edge of the sector already. See? So uh, I'm going to bring some guys down to here yeah. and just sort of watch our backs. Maybe up one more and kind of turn that way. There be some right. odd noises I'm hearing, man. Yeah, and of I course, don't like it one bit. they're hearing stuff yeah, all the time Ready. from uh, people that are just walking around inside the building. I'll go ahead and have them Yama. sneak up a bit more. Now, Raven is equipped here with... Oh, that's bad that that door is open. Something. With the HK G11 uh, personal defense weapon, um, which is a real gun yeah, that is also noise. crazy, fancy, and high-tech. Like but just shoots bullets. Um, it's silenced and... The enemy's here. Well, that's, that's unfortunate. Uh, that basically means... We've got to uh, kind of start going loud now. I'm gonna pay a shot there, a shot there, a shot there. It is heavily silenced, of course. Um, you know, but you're still gonna be creating like enough noise to be heard um, anywhere nearby. As much as movies and television might like us to believe, uh, silenced is not quite as quiet as a. Yes. Like dart being thrown at somebody. Um, see if I sight in here. I do see him. Okay. We'll go loud out here. Oh, marvelous. I'm bored. And Posty, can you do the same to a guy over there? No, you cannot. All right. There's a really good chance that the explosion happens this turn. Uh, yeah. So, as we uh, get further in, I'm going to show you like exactly what would be required to yeah. have prevented that, and I'll yeah. let you uh, draw your own conclusions as to whether or not that could be done in a single turn. And okay, good. I was uh, a little bit frightened that we might kind of run out of AP as all this craziness came out to to greet us. All right. We'll end right about here. Now we're going to pop down. That should allow her to Yama. take at least one shot. And I'll similarly have the key just like right behind her. Okay. Now. Yes. Scoot Sydney up a little bit here. Take another glance. There we go. We'll be able to hit him on the next I'm turn with Sydney. Bored. Or maybe this turn with Posty. Yep, there he goes. Okay, 50. Should be able to take a pretty decent headshot. Nailed it. Whippity do. <laughs> oh, posty. Hope it hurt. All right, and we're of course hearing them making their way towards us. Stopped right at the open door. Ready. Which is kind of terrifying. No, still doesn't see anything. Yama. All right. Well, we need to start yes. worrying about maybe uh, getting some backup. Right for those two lovely ladies. So let's uh, start making our way that way. Bored. It should just be these two guards right up here. So once they're down, that See? does it for the front gate. Yes. Yeah. And and that should be fine. Okay, Vicky. I don't know how the angle on that works, but Vicky spots somebody before. Raven does. It's a good headshot from there. And he'll be in critical condition. 
Yeah, so not expecting a lot of response from him. And then we'll get some more super up close and personal. Problem solved. Yeah, indeed it was. Ready. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead. I'm gonna move up to like right here and just turn. Secure anything that might be over there. Nothing. Then I might pass that turn yes. for them. Uh, so they've got plenty of AP to respond to any surprises. Oh, speaking of surprises. All right. Uh, so, Ding, let's get you a little bit further out. Bored. Okay. Oh, wasn't dear. quite expecting that guy to be out this far. But hopefully he has not really noticed uh, Sydney being there. And yes. maybe, just maybe, he'll move into uh, view of any of these other guys instead. Blast it. Okay. Uh, I think he spots the same Major who was critically injured. That easily finishes him off. It hurts. And then... Uh, I'm kind of tempted to turn around just in case. It's 29 to shoot. 4 to face. Let's do it. We're going to cover the door, because, Heard something. Yeah. yeah mom. amazingly, she doesn't actually spot anybody, Yes. which is strange to me, but oh well. Bloody hell. There we go. All right, well, Sydney, I'm, I'm going to keep bored. him sure. until the last shot that I might need to take here. Let's have you crouch down. Let's have you look like this way for right now. We can see all of that. Okay. Uh, probably not a good chance of it actually getting out. Hamus, let's hit you up to right next to him. Oh, man. Yep, there's that rain. Okay. Well, then. Won't be able to shoot from there, but you can now I'll see him from there. there. What about you, Tex? Just perfect. Okay. Uh, you know what? I'm going to take the headshot. Alright, not enough to kill, but enough yes. to get him into critical condition, which means Spider will probably be able to fish him off. Oh. And there we go. Eureka! Yes. Alright, now by saving Sydney, if I crouch and aim, it's good oh. enough. Alright, just a tiny bit of damage. I'm gonna leave Vicky Yama. facing the doors. Ready. I'll push Raven in just a little bit into this hallway. Okay. Bloody hell! He continues to run off. Whoa. Bummer. Okay, that's fine. Uh, uh, from this distance, we'll probably just want to take torso shots. Oh. Yeah, we've got quite a few of them. Oh. Oh. Ready. <laughs> He's at the very least going to be regretting coming this way. I'm bored. Okay. See? Let's see what we can oh. do to the elite crouched right in front of us. Okay. Yeah. Uh, oh. Four. Yes. Oh. Critical. I'm bored. Oh, come on, Posty. Oh, come on, Posty. Okay, fine, fine. Uh, let's Ready. go ahead and have her move up one. Lay him out. Thumbs up. And then have Vicky come in right behind her for now. Okay. Ready. Beautiful. That actually uh, was enough to take him down. He just needed to bleed out a second on his own. And right in front of her, headshot to the side of the Ready. temple. Beautiful. Okay, I'm um, hoping we've got See? a pretty clear shot between yeah, our reinforcements here bored. and those already inside. Looks like it. Uh, yeah. I'd like to get Spider in there, just ASAP. Yes. And we'll get Sydney right, like right about here. I'll be good, good. Okay. Now, Raven, Vicky, do you guys have... Ugh, you have... Okay, Vicky does have Yama. a first aid kit. Hmm. Let's check out right here. 
Okay. Next room up. Ready. And that door is closed. We're gonna wait outside of it. Ready. Marvelous. Wonderful. Yaman. Yeah, Vicky. Come up and check out this closed door. Alright, so uh, this is what blew up, right? There's now a big hole in the wall here. Uh, there is a wounded individual uh, that was in the room when it exploded. He is named. We do want to talk to him. Um, and at the same time, go ahead and demonstrate this. As we open up the uh, closed door here, kind of the command room, there's a switch on the wall. This was the button that was pressed in order to blow that. Now, just think about that for a second. Like, I spotted a guy outside, uh, which was the start of all of this. And you need to get a character from outside to secure the button, which means there will be people in the room with you that their turn will just be spent running over and pressing it. So you need to be in front of the button uh, or incapacitating them before they can make that run. That's a lot yeah. of action points to sprint across a room like that. You know, it's going to take her uh, AD to get here. Probably a little over a hundred to do that from out here. Now, granted, you know, maybe eighty or so uh, to get all the way in. The problem is, is you'll usually encounter more guys inside this room, more guys inside this hallway. Yeah, you could ignore them all uh, to your own kind of detriment. Uh, there's a good chance as I found in a couple of my sort of dry runs, there's a good chance that they're standing in doorways and have to be killed. I'll be um, I gave it my all. I'll tell you what. I uh, yes. also did some explosive right entry attempts by like blowing a hole right here and just trying to come in uh, into this room. Couldn't See? get it done. I swear that I remember that being so much easier if you wanted to uh, to do this bored. that like you had like chair. two or three turns uh, in order to be making it uh, to the button but consistently uh, every time I've yeah. tried it before recording today's episode uh, it was just that that very first turn um, if you didn't the the second they were alerted and you know alerted was if you shot one of the guys down here the guys up here would know about it and run to the button and press it. Um, you, I attempted coming in, you know, like with Raven, with her silence PDW. No dice. Just uh, blown on the very first turn. If you have any advice or recommendations, I would love to hear about it in the comments of this video. Now, uh, back to reality. Vicky has a med kit. We're going to go ahead and patch up this wounded individual. And that'll pass that turn. Yeah, I haven't taken care of all of them. Okay. Something to keep in mind. It's actually kind of nice because it'll uh, let her do the first aid in real time. Yes. Uh, we got everybody else up into this. Room. Here comes trouble. Whoa, that's problematic <laughs> for a couple yes. of reasons. Okay. Um. Well, actually, assuming that maybe she is who they saw, let's move her over. Yes. Put Sydney. Right back here, facing that way with his handy dandy sniper oh, rifle, yeah, and uh, let's get Tex out there too. Okay. I'm and bored. Posty, you want to join the rest of us? Yeah, man. Is this guy now fully patched up? Yeah, does not need immediate first aid. Okay. So Vicky can get back to shooting as needed. Uh, let's just quickly face over here, just in case. Yeah, man. Ready. Raven. I'm really hoping he's not hostile Bummer. now that he got shot in the back a whole bunch of times. Uh, let's try this. Give him take two more if we don't aim. Hmm, okay. Yeah. Uh, Spider, your marksmanship is not really enough to make me super excited about that. Shot twice, he's wounded. He'll probably be able to shoot back, though. Yeah, mm -hmm. man. 86, 78. He's Sydney. To want to yes. take the shot. With the sniper rifle, he's going to have such high AP costs, right? See about getting him over to 
here. Ah, I can see him from one step back. 50. That's pretty good. Uh, that's not good. Okay. Uh, that's not the worst thing that could have happened. That's not so great either. Yes. Ready. Bummer. Okay. And you, pesky little friendly Bummer. firing bastard. Oh, time for a resupply of lead. Yeah, that's also problematic because I don't think I have any more bullets for that. All right. Over to this. Yes. Sydney, what do you got? Can't see him. Okay. Let's just aim in in case he uh, pops back yes. up again. Oh, I might actually. Ready. I can save him from dying. I don't know if he's uh, currently hostile. Oh. Personally, I think we should get a bonus when things go this well. Time for a resupply of lead. Obviously, he is not still hostile. Yeah. Uh, spider. Let's actually use a med kit here. Uh. You know, just saunter. Sauntering's fine. Okay. Uh, so we are going to take care of him. Man, and everybody was just front-loaded uh, into these first few rooms. Normally I have to go doing some running around everywhere. Uh, this room was always super deadly for me in the past. Okay, uh, looks like he didn't turn hostile, so that's cool. At least it's dialogue that I would have uh, otherwise missed. Ready. Now we've got three characters overall that we want to talk to in this sector. Uh, before we do that, though, I want to demonstrate something really quick. Pop back into the map screen, you'll see that after taking one quarter of Alma, our loyalty is only 13%. Now, this is a military installation. They didn't take too kindly to, uh, to us rolling in. One of the characters we're going to talk to is going to help us out quite a lot with that. Uh, let's cycle through. We have, like, not the greatest of leaderships. Uh, Vicky, you're going to be yeah. our face uh, for today. We'll let Vicky talk first to the sergeant here. Hold your fire. I will not harm you. All right. So we're just going to be real friendly with him. You know, we just saved his life. He was uh, wounded after an explosion caused by his own fellow soldiers, basically. Ah, that is better. I have family, son, daughter, and beautiful wife. I want to go home to them, not to die here. Yeah, totally, totally understand that one, man. This is not the future I had in mind. The Arukan army drafted me and left me no choice. Yeah, so uh, he's not exactly a true believer in uh, the Queen's cause. Perhaps I go now. I remember to say good word for you amongst the people of the town. Awesome. So uh, the sergeant's going to take off and... Okay, it's not immediate, but we're going to get a big loyalty boost. Maybe as soon as he makes it off the map. I'm not sure quite when uh, it'll kick in. But that's going to help out quite a lot with our ability to uh, uh, to recruit any sort of militia or anything like that in here. Uh, also, Sergeant, you're supposed to be leaving. You're taking the weirdest pathing out of here. Yeah. Okay. So he walked out through the giant hole, came back in through the front doors, and then is now going to go out the back door here, I think. All right. That, that's fair. Um, now, oh, maybe there's, there's no need to run. I'm going to come over and we're going to talk to this gentleman who we also, you know, sort of saved the life of. Uh, he did get shot in the back repeatedly by one of his own men. We were the ones that put him into the dying status, but, you know, uh, we, we we got him back on his feet. Figured you'd be shown sooner or later. Now, here's the general, and uh, he's not going to be quite so easy to sway. All right. Now, buzz off. Okay, then. Do not allow yourself to believe you're anywhere close to winning this war, soldier. Didrana has Baduna fortified enough to stop an army. Any army. And while you're wasting your time mingling amongst the peasants, she's building new weapons in order. Weapons like you've never seen, soldier. That wise-ass's breath could peel paint. So he's basically here, uh, I guess, to give us a warning about Maduna and then also uh, to tip us off about Orta, which uh, we've not really heard much about before. Your time will come. Yeah, and that's going to be it for him. History log updated. Orta. Hey, now we got Orta on the map, which uh, we had not previously been aware even existed. 
Um, and this is going to be kind of a, a side questy thing. It's not exactly a city or anything more an advanced weapons lab, I suppose. And uh, we'll, we'll probably be checking that out before too, too long. Uh, also, you'll see the loyalty boost did kick in, and that's taken us over uh, 20% so that we're now able to train militia here, which will make taking the rest of Alma a lot easier if you're uh, having any trouble with that. Now, there's one other character in... Well, let's go ahead and load the cold ammo for now. Um, I don't want to leave her alone for this in case things go horribly wrong. Yeah, I'm not yeah, sure what your uh, leadership stat really needs to be to make sure this talk goes as smoothly as I want it to. So, uh, where are you, pal? Sure. Alright. Looks like he can wander a bit. Uh, let's see. Ready. Raven. No. Yes. Okay. Spider coming to say Understood. here. Yes. Sydney. Check out that. And yeah. these okay. two just keep walking. Uh, Alright. Whole bunch of doors. Yes. Not in there. There he is. Okay. Maybe yes. he is always in that spot, actually. Um, right. Back up, yeah, and we'll get Vicky to be our spokeswoman. Uh, also, there there is a fair amount of loot. Uh, pretty sure these are trapped, but there's some chests to disarm traps of and uh, get some stuff out here. These lockers, um, usually we're going to find a little bit of armor in them, uh, that sort of stuff. I'll probably Ready. do all of that roaming around um, off camera just to, uh, to get it out of the way. Yama. But, got another individual here. Lieutenant Conrad Gillett, please don't ask for autograph. Alright, and we find Conrad. So, we found a sergeant who was super not into the cause. We found a general who uh, did no swaying at all. And then a lieutenant, kind of in the middle, uh, who, if we play our cards right, uh, we can get this done. Can you go ahead and be direct to him? Good training is the strength of a unit. Without preparation, the men, they fall apart. This is why I am best in charge. Well, maybe you would like to be in charge with us. You will look back on this day as being your wisest. The job you offer is of interest to me. However, the talents of man like Lieutenant Conrad Giddett are not without price. That's fair. Now, he wants $5,500 a day. Look, that's, that's, that's a lot. Uh, we're going to say no to that. Okay, I am already in country. I will make you one time special price. Do not expect me to go lower, and you must not tell anyone I work for such low price. It will be our little secret. Very good. You now have someone capable of leading and training team. Perfect. All right, and we picked up Conrad. Uh, so Conrad has 95 marksmanship, 51 leadership, 88 wisdom, so he's capable of uh, improving pretty good. Every, like his dex and strength are in the 80s, agility is a little low, uh, mechanical is kind of a throwaway. Explosives aren't bad, medical is good enough to, uh, to at least treat himself. With a little bit of money, a first aid kit, and an AK-74 in 5.45. All right, fair enough. Um, I think actually his gear was probably like really spot on for uh, the the base game. Um, one point one three mod, like he could probably use a little bit more outfitting. But uh, finding somebody with a Kevlar vest and an AK, keep in mind you could theoretically be doing this fairly early on. Drassen's right here, almost not far away. As you saw, like we didn't have a lot of trouble with this sector. So uh, you could consider getting Conrad really early. Uh, of course, three thousand dollars a day. He's a pretty pricey guy. I am um, ready. Okay. I did want to go ahead and pick him up, though. Uh, we could use uh, a little more oomph in our B team, uh, and he's definitely going to do a good job of providing that. Now, nothing else is. Actually, so dropped some pretty good stuff. Uh, we got a couple of like a, the G thirty six C is going to be pretty good. Um, other than that, not a lot of stuff. Like I said, I think I'm going to go ahead and clean up uh, the inventory sweep off camera. And when we come back, uh, we'll be prepped and ready to move on. I can, uh, I might take a day to, to do just some training of the, uh, 
uh, the town militia. Our current balance is real low, but we're making like a sizable uh, chunk here. Of course, daily expenses sort of offset that. Uh, so I think we should be able to get some militia and I'm not too worried about having to like press on because we've got these mobile militia sort of hanging out right next to us uh, that could reinforce us if we get counterattacked, um, that sort of stuff. So this is probably a pretty decent time to uh, to dig in a little bit. Also, I I could really hate fighting in the, the rain. Uh, it messes with your sight ranges a lot and I'd like to have this storm pass. So it makes sense for me to kind of hunker down for a little bit. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. I really, really do want to hear any comments you guys might have for uh, how that could all be done better. You know, the whole race to the button uh, kind of thing. If you've got like a super pro strategy that I have not considered uh, myself just to save the exploding rocket rifle over here, um, you know, let me know. I I'd love to hear about it. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, feel free to subscribe for more on my channel. Right now, I'm, I'm still in the, uh, the, the doctor appointment uh, sort of slump. Uh, I've got another one this coming Monday, and maybe two more uh, over the next couple of months to, uh, to finally be back at 100%. So right now, I'm, I'm still trying to hold on to uh, videos every other day uh, as far as a schedule is concerned. And uh, yeah, I, I think it's, it's, it's working out okay. We'll get through this one together. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will catch you next time.